Hello, welcome back to our final week of The Great Rescue. We have so much in store. It, today is jam-packed um, with the end of Jonah's story. Um, we will find out a bit about that later. Yeah. But before we jump into it, we're going to show you our last craft. And it's, it's quite a simple one this week. And hopefully you can see that. It's your very own prayer pot. And in it, you can decorate it how much you like. Hopefully more than my one. And in it, you've got lots, a couple of uh, lolly sticks and you can write on these, whatever you would like to pray for. So you can do, so thank you for, you can say all the th things you're thankful for, or um, so you can pray for people, so the hungry and the needy or anyone who's sick, but anything that you, you would like to pray for or you would like help with, you can all, it's, it's a nice idea to, write them down so you can remember them for later or maybe uh, when you go to bed or something. And even though we won't be able to show your prayer pots next week, um, we'd still love to receive them. Yeah. So if you want to send them in to us, me and Jacob have had a whale of a time watching um, your, looking at your pictures of you doing your crafts. It's been so lovely to see you doing them. Um, and we'd love to know that you are using them as well, maybe using your whale um, to sneak up on your brothers and sisters or using your prayer pot um, to remind you to pray because that's really helpful too. Yeah. But for now, we're going to get straight into it because we have so much to share with you. Um, so we're going to hand it straight over to Anna and Helen doing one of the songs we learned a few weeks ago. Welcome back everybody. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. We are going to be singing one of the songs we learned in the previous weeks. So today we're going to sing I'm Following the King. And this was the song that just reminded us what it was like to live for Jesus. And so um, everybody up and let's get started. So let's get going guys. This is Jonah, and he's overboard. A few minutes ago, he was up here with these guys, but they threw him into the sea. To understand why, let's back up. Jonah was a prophet. He got messages from God and delivered them to people. God will restore our land. Everything was fine until God gave him this message. Dear Nineveh, in 40 days, you will be destroyed. Jonah didn't like the message, and he really didn't like Nineveh. So he did what any of us might do when confronted with the clear, unchanging will of an all-powerful God. He ran. He ran in the opposite direction of Nineveh. And he didn't stop at the sea. He kept going on this boat with these guys. Until they realized that Jonah was the cause of this horrible storm that tossed their ship, and they tossed him overboard. 
That's when Jonah met the very big fish. Fish stomachs are strange places. But they get you thinking about life. And Jonah realized he'd made a mess of his. He decided that God's way is the best way, no matter what. And he got the chance to prove it. Jonah arrived in Nineveh, a foreign city filled with godless people. He knew his mission. He held his message. All that remained was a choice. Speak or run. Forty days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed! With those words, Jonah went overboard again. Not like a fool being tossed to the sea, but like a man diving headfirst into destiny. And something wonderful happened. People were saved. A triumph of mercy sent to motion by one man, armed with eight words and the decision to stop running and start talking. That is the story of Jonah. And the really big fish. That's gonna leave a stink. Jonah went to the city of Nineveh, and Jonah told them God's message. The people of Nineveh heard God's warning. They said sorry, and stopped doing bad things. The people of Nineveh turned to follow the one true God, and God was kind to them. He did not destroy them. When Jonah stopped and thought about this, he couldn't believe it. He should have been happy. But he was angry. Jonah said to God, I knew it. I knew you'd be patient and kind. I knew you would forgive them. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I wish I was dead. But God said to Jonah, You have no right to be angry. But Jonah didn't listen. He stormed out of the city. Jonah went and sat on a hill to see what would happen to the city. It was very hot on the hill. But God was kind to Jonah. He made a vine grow. The vine grew and grew until it shaded Jonah from the hot sun. Jonah was happy about the vine. The next day God sent a worm. The worm chewed up the vine so that it withered and died. Then God made a hot wind to blow. The sun beat down on Jonah. Jonah was hot and didn't feel too good. Jonah was angry and he felt like he wanted to die. Again, God said to Jonah, You have no right to be angry about the vine. But Jonah was angry, so angry he could die. Finally, God said you were concerned about the vine, even though you did not water it or make it grow. It came one day and was gone the next. Should I not be concerned about the people of Nineveh? I made these people. They don't know me. Should I not care about them? Hello again. And here we are, week five of the memory verse. Now I think by now you all know the actions and the memory verse very well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and find some of the people who've been working hard behind the scenes of the Holiday Club. See if they know as many of the actions as you do. Let's go this way. Okay, so here we are. We have found three very willing volunteers who've been behind the scenes all this time. And they're going to go through it slowly to start with. And then we're going to pick up the pace, see if they know it. Here we go. Are you ready? For God. So loved. The world that he gave one and only son that whomever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life <gasps> very good what do you think did all right didn't they but well, i'm going to see if we can quicken the pace now and get them to go faster everybody ready for god so loved the world that he gave one and only <laughs> son <laughs> who believes in him 
but have eternal life. Oh, so good. But I think we can go faster. Bye, Oh, God. So loved. The world. That he gave. One and only son. That he never believes in him shall not perish. But have eternal life. Yeah. Well done. They did so well. And I think we should give them a big round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to dun 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 um... oh. oh my word I feel faint oh oh the sun oh it's so hot oh blazing on my bald head. Oh, but you know, you knew that making me bald would make me sensitive to the heat of the sun, which you also created. Oh, oh, and all this so that I would grow oh, faint. Oh, and fall to the ground. Oh, fall onto that inconveniently placed foam pie. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ah. Ah. It's better for me to die than to live. <laughs> Do you think you have a right to be angry about the vine? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm very angry. Oh. Oh. Yes, I am. I'm so angry. Oh. I'm so angry. I'm red with anger. I have steam coming out of my ears. I'm angry enough to die after all I've been through. Foam pies in the face. <laughs> Beaten up by the Ninevites. Get him! Get him! More foam pies in the face. <laughs> Oh, gosh, it's hot, isn't it? Oh. 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 I didn't deserve that. And what happened to my lovely vine? 
You have been concerned about this vine, though you did not tend it or make it grow. It sprang up overnight and died overnight. Yes, and even though I took a double, even a treble, even more than the daily recommended dose of worming tablets, you sent a worm to nibble, 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 num, 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 and my shelter withered. Nineveh has more than 120,000 people who cannot tell their right from their left. Good evening, candidates. Welcome to Nineveh Camel and Camping Driving School. Now, this is lesson number one. Now, take this lesson. Imagine we have a camel coming here on the left-hand side, uh, sorry, the right-hand side, in this direction, and uh, another camel coming here on the right-hand side. No, sorry, it's the left-hand side. Uh, and another one coming up here into this junction on the left-hand side, right-hand side, sorry, right-hand side. They all come into the middle. Who gives way? We don't know. Left and right, who knows what that is? It's going to be a big smash in the middle. Lots of blood and guts everywhere. Got that, everyone? Good. You've passed. Should I not but, be concerned about this great but, city? But, is that it? Is that how it ends for Jonah? After all I've been through? Foam pies in the face, beaten up by Ninevites? More foam pies in the face? Can't we change the ending a bit, Lord? It's mm. a kind of a weird ending, you know? No. Well, I'll just keep it like this for now. Oh. Oh. I think you had better run now. Those worming tablets will be coming into effect very soon. Well, good morning. This is the last week of our summer Bible club, The Great Rescue. I really hope you've had a, a wonderful time following the story and seeing the silly antics and, and, and just learning about Jonah's life. Let me recap. On the first week, we looked how Jonah tried to run away from God and the consequences that happened, that they weren't a punishment, 
It was God um, putting circumstances to kind of force Jonah to do what he's supposed to. We saw how, how that can also relate to us. In the second week, Jonah was in the belly of the whale, and, and he says that he called to the Lord in his distress, and the Lord heard him. And we realise that actually that God always hears us, and if we call to him, particularly in our distress, God will hear us. On the third week, Jonah arrived at Nineveh, and he, 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 he gave them God's message, and they made God so happy because they repented, and they were sorry for their sins, and they turned their lives around. And, and, and that's true of us. And then, then last week, we saw how God made, has made this possible, possible for us through Jesus, through sending him to die on the cross in our place. And this is what our memory verses kind of summarised. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him will not die, but have everlasting life. This week, I kind of just want to point out that when we finish the book of Jonah, the story doesn't end. We don't know what happens next. We know something must have happened next. Jonah must have gone somewhere and told someone the story or written it down and given it to someone. Or, but we just don't know. But the story doesn't end. And I think that's true of us because our story doesn't end. It doesn't end with the end of, of the great rescue, the Bible club. It doesn't end with, with what we've gone through. Our story with God is ongoing. It's not like God kind of points us in the right direction. We call to him, he forgives us. We welcome Jesus into our life and that's the end of it. That's just the beginning. We have this ongoing relationship with God through Jesus. And we need to do everything we can to support and help and, and nurture that relationship. And one of the most important things I think is reading your Bible. And I, I, if you don't read your Bible every day, I would challenge you to do so. Pick a gospel, it doesn't really matter which one, say, say Luke, um, and just think, I'm going to read maybe 10, maybe 15 verses every day until I get through the gospel of Luke. Just do that to begin with. But talk to, when we get back, talk to your Sunday club leaders, give Nigel a ring, say, what's the best way for me to study the Bible? And when you're studying the Bible, always pray before you read it and after you read it. But pray asking God to talk to you through the scripture, but then when you're praying, just sit quietly and try and listen to God and see, see what he might tell you or prompt you or make you feel and bring out of the scriptures. The other thing that's really good for our relationship with Jesus, which is really difficult at the moment, is meeting with each other. And that's not something we can do just at the moment. That's why we all wear our masks and see even Hannah's got hers on. Um, we can't meet together. But you know, as I said last week, I am so keen to get back and meeting with everyone. Not just because I miss you all, but because I know that's right for my relationship with God, that I meet other people who have similar stories and experiences to me, and I learn from them, and hopefully they'll learn from me. So the message of today is I come to the end of Jonah, that the story doesn't end. Your story, your relationship with God is just beginning. It's just starting. Embrace it, love it, encourage it, do everything for it. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you sent Jesus, that because of that, we can have a relationship with you. Father, thank you that as we've gone through this story of Jonah, we, it helps us in that relationship, it teaches us things. Help us every day from now on to uh, further our relationship with you. Right, reading the Bible, praying, spending time with one another. Thank you. Through your Holy Spirit, we can, through the work of Jesus, we can have that relationship. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we are going to go over one of the songs that we learnt a few weeks ago, so I hope you're all ready for that. Yeah, so we're going to do Your Love again today, which is the song that reminds us all about God's love for us. So we'll take it away now. Okay, people, let's go. One, two, three, four. Your love will last forever. It's like a mighty river that flows and flows forever and ever. 
never stopping. Your awesome love protects me. When I sing, your love corrects me. You're faithful to direct me always to your love. And when I think of all you've done, there's no love greater than this. You freely gave your precious son to die for all my sins. One, two, three, four. Your love will last forever. It's like a mighty river that flows and flows forever, never stopping. Your awesome love protects me when I sing. Your love corrects me. You're faithful to direct me always to your love. I can't believe it's over. Can you believe it's over, Jacob? Absolutely not. Uh, those those so weeks have flown by. We have had so much fun it's learning about Jonah. Um, and we just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that has helped put this all together. Um, we're going to name some names. Thank you, Tony, for putting all the videos together. Thank you to Anna and Helen for helping us learn some lovely new songs. And to Nigel and Francis for helping us remember our memory verse. We may even test you when we next see you to see if you can remember it. Also, we want to thank um, Chris and all of the Lockies for helping uh, teach us about Jonah um, and about the ways that God works in, worked in Jonah's life. Um, and finally, a huge thank you to Jeff as well for teaching us about Jonah and about God as well. And last but not least, we thank you guys for watching and we hope that you had as much fun as we did and that we pray that you'll take uh, forward with you uh, the things that you learn about Joseph and uh, about, about the Bible and the memory verse as well. We hope that you remember that as well. Um, but we urge you to still send in the pictures of your crafts, of your prayer pots and of your um, crest as well. Let's see how, if that's grown uh, more than mine has. And don't forget, every Sunday, even though we don't have... Um, this again happening next Monday. Every Sunday we do have um, a Thorn Baptist Church online, just like this on YouTube, um, that you can tune into and watch and um, maybe see some familiar faces from the past few weeks. Um, we would love to hear from you and love to see your crafts. Don't forget to send them in. Um, but for now, it's a very sad goodbye, just for a short while until we will see you again. Goodbye! Bye. My balding head. Oh, but you know, Lord, I've forgotten my words. <laughs> so close. That he gave. It's one and only. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's true of us. And then, then last week, why are you laughing? <laughs> That's like sheer panic on your face. Oh, I feel faint. Oh, all this you knew. And I forgot my words again. Nice.
said red at the time. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ready? Oh, go. <laughs> if you want to see these faces some more, I don't think the paint's going to come off. Auf Wiedersehen.